Welcome to my video on dilations. This is the last transformation that we will be learning this year. The first transformation that we covered was a translation. And remember, we can use the SL in translation to remember that that is a slide. And remember, in a translation, the coordinates don't necessarily stay similar. Okay, they change. In a reflection, it's a flip over the x or y axis. And remember, the coordinates in a reflection will stay similar. The third one we did was a rotation. And in a rotation, they also stayed similar. And remember, when we did rotations, we traced the figure on our grid paper and rotated it 90 degrees or 180. Now this last transformation is a dilation and we're going to figure out what a dilation is. So I want you to look to see what happens. Okay. And in a dilation, we're going to be reviewing something that we've already learned, which is scale factor. So right now the scale factor is one. Watch what happens as I change the scale factor. And what do you notice about the scale factor? You should have noticed that it's greater than one and what's happening to the shape? Hopefully you said it's getting larger. Okay, it's increasing in size. But if we look at the coordinates and let's put the scale factor at two, let's look at what happened to Let's pick C. We have 1, 2, and now it's 2, 4. So what do you think happened to 1, 2 to get to 2, 4? Hopefully you said both the numbers got multiplied by 2. And remember, scale factor is the number we're multiplying by. So in a dilation, each coordinate gets multiplied by 2 if the scale factor is 2. Okay, so we just discovered that greater than 1 enlarges the figure. Now, let's look at the next dilation. And I want you to notice what happens to the scale factor. And hopefully you notice that the scale factor is less than 1. And what is happening to the figure? It's shrinking. So let's set it at 0.5, which is another, what's the fraction for 0.5? 1 half. So let's look at A. A was negative 2, 8. And now the new A is negative 1, 4. So what happened to both coordinates? That's correct. They got cut in half. Okay, so... I multiplied each coordinate by a half, or since the numerator is 1, another way of saying multiply by a half is divide by 2. Okay, so we just discovered that a scale factor less than 1 is going to shrink the figure. Okay, and let's just look at one more example. We have a right triangle here. And remember, greater than 1 enlarges the figure. Now let's go back to 1. And less than 1 shrinks the figure. OK. So now let's go back to the notes. And it says dilation. A dilation of a geometric figure is a transformation that changes the size of a figure by a scale factor to create a similar figure. So I want you to look at the animals and decide which one is a dilation. Which one changes the size of the figure? Okay, hopefully you said the line. So circle the lines. And that's not a very good circle, so hopefully yours is better than mine. Okay, moving along, we're going to look at some examples of dilations. Now, I'm going to tell you there's three dilations, so I want you to be thinking about which ones are dilations. And hopefully two st stood out to you. Hopefully 
The bananas stood out to you, and hopefully one other one stood out to you, and that's the roses. Now, there's one dilation left, and you can look, these triangles are not the same shape, so it's definitely not that, so it's between these two. And the reason why it's this one is because they have the same ratio. We have, we can do two to two, three to three, that they both simplify to one, okay? But if we do this, we have five to three, four to two. That is not the same ratio, okay? So this one is not a dilation. Now, if you look at, we'll call them raindrops. If you look at the raindrops, what is that transformation called? Hopefully you said rotation. And this is actually a 180 degree rotation. If we go this way and 180 degrees clockwise. And remember, when we do a rotation, if you go 180 clockwise or counterclockwise, it's the same. Okay, so let's look down below and recap what we just talked about here and what we talked about earlier when we looked at the dilation applet. The scale factor is the number by which the image enlarges, stretches, or reduce, reduces, shrinks. So this is what we said on the applet. If the scale factor is greater than one, then the figure enlarges or gets bigger. So the figure enlarges. And that's another way of saying gets bigger or larger. And then if the scale factor is less than one, but still greater than zero, then the figure shrinks. Or gets smaller. So sm smaller is another way of saying it shrinks. Okay, so to dilate an image whose center of dilation is the origin, we are going to multiply the coordinates of the original image by the scale factor. So in other words, we're going to take the x and y coordinates and we're going to multiply them both by whatever the scale factor is. Okay, so let's look at two examples. We're going to look at one that's greater than one and one that's less than one. Okay, so turn the page. It says, draw the dilated image, so I'm going to underline dilated image, that's what we're doing, of the triangle with vertices A, B, and C with a scale factor of 2. So, we know as soon as we see that scale factor that we're multiplying all the coordinates by 2. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite the original coordinates so that you can s compare them and it's easier to see what's happening. So let's just copy down the original A, so negative 2, negative 4. The original B is 1, 4. And the original C is 4, negative 4. Now, we said the scale factor is 2, so I'm just going to draw an arrow and show that we're multiplying the original by 2. Now, I'm going to do the first one, coordinate with you. We'll come up with the new A together and then see if you can do B and C on your own. So we're going to write A prime because this is the new image. 
and we're going to multiply both by 2. So negative 2 times 2 is negative 4, and negative 4 times 2 is negative 8. So write down negative 4, negative 8. Now let's see if you can do the next two on your own. Go. If that wasn't enough time, go ahead and pause the video. But if it was enough time, here we go. 1 times 2 is 2. 4 times 2 is 8. So 2, 8. And the new C. 4 times 2 is 8. Negative 4 times 2 is negative 8. Now we have to graph this on the coordinate plane. So we're going to graph the A prime, negative 4, down to negative 8. And we're going to call that A prime. And then B is, B prime is 2, 8. And C prime is 8. Negative 8, and I know I have to be across from this A because in the original, A and C were across from each other. Now, you probably want a ruler for this part, so reach in your desk, or if you're sitting on the side, um, reach under your desk and grab the ruler, and let's connect the points. So connect A and B. B and C, and A and C. Okay, we've just completed a dilation with a scale factor of two. And so let's recap what we just, what we did to everything so that you have this to look back at. All we did was multiply each coordinate by two. Okay, now we're going to look at the next example. And the next example, if you look down at number two, it says draw the dilated image of the rectangle with vertices A, B, C, and D with a scale factor of one third. So let's underline the keywords. Dilated image. And we're going to underline what the coordinates are. And we're going to underline scale factor of one third. Now, just like the previous example, I'm going to write down the original coordinates so that we can actually see what's happening. Okay, so the original A is negative 6, 3. The, and we can draw our arrow. Our original B is 3, 3. And draw the arrow. The original C is 3, negative 9. Draw the arrow. And the original D is negative 6, negative 9. And draw the arrow. And what are we going to be doing to all of these? Well, the scale factor is 1 third, and since scale factor means multiply, we're going to multiply each coordinate by 1 third. Now, hopefully, you remember that since the numerator is 1, then we can also divide by 3. So we can either multiply by 1 third or divide by 3. Okay, so our new A prime is, so negative 6 times 1 third is negative 2. And 3 times 1 third is 1. So write negative 2, 1 for your A prime. Okay, let's go to B prime. And since we already know that 3 times 1 third is 1, we don't need to figure it out again. We know both of these are going to be 1. So you can use your previous coordinates to figure out the others. So C prime. We already know 3 times 1 third from the last two is 1. Now this is a new one. Negative 9 times 1 third is negative 3. And then the new D, 
Negative 6 times 1 third, we did that when we did a, so we know that's negative 2. In the previous one, we already did negative 9 times 1 third, and that's negative 3. So if you can't remember that multiplying by 1 third is the same as dividing by 3, you can actually type this in your calculator if you need to. I'd rather you figure it out in your head, but if you need to, type it into your calculator. And don't type in every single one. If you've already did the multiplication in your calculator, then you already know what it is. So use it for the next couple if they sh that number shows up again. So let's graph this. So negative 2, 1 is right here. And let's call that A prime. And B prime is 1, 1. And C prime is 1, negative 3, which is right here. And D prime is negative 2, negative 3, right here. Now get your ruler to connect the points and go ahead and connect them. And now we've just created a dilation with a scale factor of 1 third. Now I want to write our recap and I'm going to have to erase this so I can write a recap. So if you're still writing, just pause the video. And what I want to write down here where you have some room is what we actually did. So we multiplied, so multiply each coordinate by one third or divide by three. If you've got that down, you can look at the next page. And now we're, we graph the new image Okay, with the scale factor and wrote the new coordinates. Now, we're going to come up with the scale factor. So, the original graph is already drawn for you and the dilation is drawn for you. So, now we need to come up with what the scale factor is. So, I'm going to show you two ways to do it. So, we have to find out what is the scale factor of this dilation. So, one way to do it is to pick one of the x's and just compare the two. So here's the original, here's the new one. So how do I get from negative four to negative eight? Hopefully you said times two, okay? So we can do that for the B's as well. How do you get from negative one to negative two times two? They're all gonna be the same. And how do you get from negative four to negative eight times two? Now we use the X's. You can also use the Y's except if the y's are zero. So I can't use these two to compare because both the y's are zero. But I can use this y, so negative two, and this y, negative four. So the b went from negative two to negative four, so it doubled. And the c went from negative three to negative six, so it doubled. So we know the scale factor is going to be two. Now we can also write, pick two of the coordinates and write them down and then compare those. So I'm just going to pick A prime, and A prime is negative 8, 0. Write this down. And A is negative 4, 0. Now we said that we can't compare the zeros, okay, because then it would say that the scale factor is 0, and we know that if it did something, the scale factor can't be 0. Okay? So we're going to compare the x's. And since scale factor ratio is new over old, we're going to put the A prime on top and the A on the bottom. So we're going to write new over old. And the new one is 8. Sorry, negative 8. And the old one is negative 4. And what's negative 8 divided by negative 4? It's 2. Okay, now I'm going to show you the same two methods over here. So once again, and I'll just pick one of the letters this time. So let's just pick A to compare. So the original A is nine. 
So the y is 9. The original y of the, the new a, sorry, sorry, the new a is 3. So how do you get from 9 to 3? Well, you divide by 3, or you can multiply by 1 third. And this is why people like to use this method, because it's easier to use that method. Now let's compare the x's of the a's. So the original x is negative 3 of this a, and it went down to negative 1. So it went from negative 3 to negative 1. So how do you get there? You divide by 3 or you multiply by 1 third. Now I'm going to pick one of the letters, and I'm going to pick a different letter. So let's pick... Uh, C. So we're going to write down C prime is 2, 2, and C is 6, 6. And since I used the X's to compare in the last one, I'm going to use the Y's to compare here. So I'm going to circle the Y's, and I'm going to write new over old. And what's the new Y? 2. What's the old y? 6. And now I have to simplify that. I'm going to have a fraction. And 2 divided by 2 is 1. And 6 divided by 2 is 3. So the answer is 1 third. And folks, you know your, to recap, you know your scale factor is going to be less than 1 if it shrinks. Okay? If it enlarges, you know your scale factor is going to be greater than 1. So that concludes our notes on dilations. I hope you have a great day.